Hi, welcome to the review for Arrow. It was a really good episode. It was very emotional. This this episode was very emotional, and I kind of felt that Arrow, the way they treated this episode was the way is the kind of way they the, um, Batman would be, and I kind of think Arrow fills that role. Let's get into this. Let's dive into this. The first thing I want to talk about. Oliver dealing with Sarah's death. Um, he was basically being who everyone needed him to be, the Arrow, finding a way of of dealing with the whole thing and not mourning, not not letting down his guard, so so he could lead everyone else because everyone was looking towards him. Um, Frank. I don't think um, the Felicity car Felicity understood completely when he said that he doesn't have the luxury to mourn. He can't mourn until you know, until um, it, um, if he mourns, no one else will mourn. Will have the t luxury to. I, I am telling you that. Um, he means if he doesn't do what he has to do, no one's gonna do it. So it's all up to him. It's all on his shoulders. And you know, I, he realized like this is not the kind of life that he wants to live. You know, he doesn't want to be. He doesn't want this to be you know a legacy for himself. He doesn't want this to be be what kills him. After you know, the house has been killed, so he's dealing with those emotions, and it's pretty you know, um, the actor conveys those messages pretty well as Oliver Queen. Um, it comes to the question of who you want to be, Arrow, Oliver, Queen. You can't be both. Um, and will he, at the end of the season, learn how to balance both Oliver and Arrow? And Arrow, since he has he has Roy as a sidekick as Arsenal, and Diggle as another um, partner. Um, the second thing is Laurel. There, we all know they were gonna change Laurel. They were gonna make Laurel into Black Canary. We just didn't know when. So, uh, I don't. I believe it's too early. But um, I was hoping that uh, we kind of knew that something was gonna happen to Sarah, where she would step up into the role of Black Canary, and we kind of see that of her, you know, using her credentials to to, to talk to the suspect. Um hurting this aspect we kind of see her changing into becoming a person that that becomes a vigilante and and goes rogue the next thing is um i have so much to talk about this open up so much um the ray palmer and felicity situation that is the most interesting thing i'm gonna be brief, creepy, weird Ray Farmer going after Felicity in the most weirdest way. Um, he buys the store that she works at. He sends her flowers, taxes. If that does not say stalker, I don't know what it is. But at the end, Felicity doesn't want to live in the life that Oliver's in. She doesn't want this life to be her only life. So she goes and she works, she mans up and goes to work for, for creepy stalker Ray Palmer at the end. Um, I'm glad Roy stepped up and told Oliver about the note. So um, if he didn't, he would have kept on hoping that Thea would have reached out to him. And it would have just gone too crazy. I think um, he would have gone mad because he kept on looking at his phone saying Thea hasn't gotten to him, Thea hasn't gotten to him, Thea hasn't gotten to him. Um, his connection with Thea is, is pretty strong. Um, they both are family. Family is important to Oliver and he wants his sister. He wants his sister to be there when he is down. Um, they briefly tell you about Komodo. They don't tell you much. Or they briefly tell you, which is a disappointment. He does play a bigger role in New 52 as an enemy of the Arrows. The sixth thing, how will um, 
Mer Theon Merlin play a role. We'll see that in the next episode. Um, Oliver goes and, and get try to get Thea, and and um, try to bring her home. But of course, Thea is is gonna is in the in the trailer. Thea is like, I don't want to go home. But can Thea handle the type of training me uh, that Merlin is putting her through? Basically, teaching her to be an assassin, like the League of Assassins done for him. And mind you, that. Um, Razagul has a grudge against Merlin and wants Merlin dead. And from the description of that episode, Nisa it will be teaming up with with Oliver Queen to go after Venge because to go after um to go after um Merlin because they believe that Merlin killed Sarah. We don't know who kills Zara, but whoever they bring better <sighs> better be off the wall. This 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 better be off the wall. But overall, it was a really good episode. It was very emotional. It was at was this point it wasn't a fantastic fight scene, but I was satisfied with the storyline and how how the how we're seeing the characters transform. Um, Oliver from Oliver, Oliver from Oliver being you know the hero that the city wants to not wanting to die in this life. Laurel who wants who's gone from satisfied of being the DEA and and putting bad guys away. Now she wants to find now she's out for blood and vengeance and she can't tell her father her father that her sister has died because he has a heart condition. Um, not too fond of the Ray Palmer and Felicity situation. Since they're not going to do no power, so Ray Palmer is irrelevant right now. Um, the Roy and Oliver relationship, I, I'm curious to see because um, I want I, I like seeing it because it's kind of, um, he kind of has someone that can balance him now. No, well, he had Diggle, but because Diggle's not, not on the team anymore that, um, that's what's there for him. But overall, it was a really good episode. I give it like a B. You know, um, it's definitely one of the episodes where you're just like, it's good. Um, there was no fight scenes, but it's good storyline and bringing the characters into this new route they're taking with them. And I'm, I. Yeah, that's it. I'm hoping that it could keep up its momentum because first episode was a shocker. Um, second episode was more of a mourner. Let's hope third episode has a lot of action and and doesn't have well resolves who kills Sarah. And I wouldn't be surprised if Merlin made 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 Thea kill Sarah. I wouldn't be surprised. Thank you for watching. Thank you for surviving. Went through this review with me. Uh, and keep a lookout for more videos like this um, that I will be doing. Um, the channel is going to be mixed up of different things. So, um, Hopefully it's a fun channel and you guys like the content that goes up. So just subscribe at the bottom. Like, comment, or share. That's up to you. That's your choice. I'm not going to force you into doing it, but it's your choice. Um, and if you have a hoodie, hoodie up. Or, you know, hood up. I don't know what the saying is now, but yeah, do that. Bye.